From Arch Frey, it's me again. And in this one, I'm gonna be having a go on this. So guys, what have we got here? Bird's eye breaded cod, two fish burgers. 100% cod fillet. Fish burgers. Now because I haven't eaten fish for so long, I didn't even know fish burgers existed until, well, about two weeks ago when I noticed them in the uh, freezer cabinet of Morrison's and I thought, hey up, I'll have a go on them. So there's your traffic lights. Looks like we've got two green and two amber. Um, this is certified sustainable seafood. Freshness locked in from sea to plate, responsible, responsibly sourced. Um, so you again find out I did the bird's eye fish fingers. This had the same thing, which I bet all bird's eye products have. Find out where your fish comes from and discover the captain's dedication to responsible fishing. Use your smartphone to scan this little boat and get on board. See? Now, I've got a feeling I did try this after a video and I had trouble with it. So, I can't remember what the problem was. But there we are. Fish is good for our health and so for the good health of our oceans. Here at Bird's Eye, we fish responsibly so that future generations can enjoy fish too. So when you choose your fish, you choose fish that's good all round for people, for our planet, for the future. Cod burgers are rich in protein which support the maintenance of muscle, mass, enjoy as part of a varied and balanced diet and healthy lifestyle. Right, there's your ingredients. And there is the nutritional information and ingredients wise allergens we have wheat mustard and that is it may also contain milk um, calories per 100 is 196 calories per 100 grams Price now three pound twenty for two hundred and twenty seven grams. So, to put that into perspective, against the uh, like, say you bought two quarter pound meat free quarter pounders, um, I don't know what the meat versions are, but say like I, you bought a corn quarter pounders, two of them, I think they're. What are they? About 220 grams. So that's a similar weight. They, in fact, they are pretty much similar weight. And I think you pay somewhere between 250 and 3 pound for them. So these are even more. So I, I mean, I don't know, but I, I'm sure at one point, meat free stuff used to um, cost more money than the real thing. I'm starting to see a shift now. I've got a feeling that a lot of people are going back to eating meat. I think they are. Um, and I have heard that as well, that all these companies doing alternative um, products are starting to struggle a bit. The market's just not there anymore and that's why we're seeing the prices. Like I think I mentioned in a previous video, the corn burgers, I don't think their prices for them have gone up. So while everything else has been going up, a lot of these products have sort of been staying a similar price because they're struggling in the marketplace. There's not enough. There's so many people making this stuff now. There's not enough people buying it. So they can't get away with putting prices up too high. So these are more expensive. What did I say? £3.20. £3.20 for two burgers. But a real fish, 100% cod fillet. So give me these over an old 
alternative meat product any day of the week. Right, here we go. Um, cooking, what have we got to do for cooking? Now I'm not, I'm just gonna have two burgers in buns, that's all I'm doing. So I don't really want to fire up the oven for that. I think I'll do them in the grill again like I did the um, fish fingers, I think. I think I'll do them in the grill. You get a choice of oven or grill. I don't know if you can see that, can you? So we'll do them in the grill. Right. What does this say? Although great care has been taken to remove all bones, some may remain. If serving in a bun, take care the fish will be very hot. Yes. Please ensure food is cooked until pipe or not. These instructions are guidelines only. Do not refreeze after defrosting, boo-boo. Right, okay. I think it's time to fire up the grill and get some fish burgers in some buns. Come on, Bobo. Right, okay, guys. Here it is. The bird's eye fish burger. Which is a cod fillet burger. So basically, all I've got in there is lettuce and mayo. And I've got another one. This is empty. This will go in there when I finish filming and eat it up. But I've got that to try on its own. Actually, I'm going to cut that open now. I'll just cut the end off that. Just to check that he's cooked. And also have a look at it. Whoop. So there's your cod fillet. Let's try it in the burger first. Or in the bun, I should say. Right, here we go. So there it is again. Never had one before. What are they gonna taste like? Mmm. That is good. I mean, you'd imagine it to taste like a, a giant fish finger. And that is exactly what it's like. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Bob, what are you sniffing around for? Right, let's have a go on this on its own. Now, I'll put a bit of vinegar on that in a minute, or on this bit. Oh, yeah. Lovely texture. Oh. I really missed eating meat and fish, although I'm not back on meat, but I do miss it. Really, I, if I'm really honest, I do miss it. You can't beat it. They can try all they like to replicate it. They'll never do it. But to be honest with you, I never thought they'd get as close to it as they have using plants and chemicals. Um, but it's not the same thing. So yeah, this is absolutely heaven to me, this is. Mm. Really nice. Right, now, score. This is a difficult one to score. Um, they are pr quite pricey. Now, I don't know if there's any other brands do these burgers. I haven't seen them. I mean, you could argue just put three or four fish fingers in, in there and you've got the same thing. Yeah, you're probably right. But 
I don't know, this does taste chunky. It has got a little bit of a unique, like, feel to it and and just texture as well than you'd get with just lump and four fish fingers in there or whatever, three. Score. Um, I gave the fish fingers a nine. I'm gonna go 9.1. I know they're a bit pricey, but so were the fish fingers, but I'd prefer, I would, I'd always eat the fish fingers like that anyway. I wouldn't ever just have them on the plate and eat them. They'll always go in sandwich or bread rolls, but I would rather pay a little bit more, if it is a little bit more, and have it like that. So I'm gonna give it a 9.1. It just edges fish fingers, I think. Right, so that just about wraps up the video, I think. I've got the head of security down here. He know what's coming. Bob, you've got to have your Scooby snack and then you've got to get out in the garden and play with your sister Piddly, all right? Go play football with your sister. Right, so that, guys, is another Fast Broken by a Food Review. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me and old Bobo over there. Here we come again soon on another video. Take care, guys. Right, come on then, you two. Let's sort out the head of security first. He's got to get outside. There you go, Bobbles. Go take the outside, my man. Right, Bobo, here we go. Here's yours, my man. <laughs> there we are. Hey, Bobo, have a look at that. You got that thing flipping rolling again. Oh, Piggly, look out. Trust you, Boo Boo.